a sexual assault charge against Oscar Luna of Bemidji in a case involving an 11-year-old girl. Uh, that charge of sexual assault rape has been dismissed. Uh, this from County Prosecutor David Hansen, quote, In September of last year, our community experienced an unimaginable tragedy. An 11-year-old girl was located at a Sanford emergency room due to a report of a sexual assault. After an investigation by the Bemidji Police Department and Minnesota BCA, uh, several salacious details emerged from the investigation. Law enforcement learned the girl had been in a residence in Bemidji and she reported being forced into a car and had a bag over her head. She further reported being taken to a yellow house in Bemidji where she was tied up. She reported that she was naked while she was tied up and there were two other girls tied up next to her. She reported there were four Mexican men in the house and that she was sexually assaulted by two, no, two of them. One named Panda and the other named Noah. The young girl was examined by a sexual assault nurse who informed law enforcement that she had abrasions consistent with a sexual assault. Based on this information, Bemidji Police Department began an intensive investigation into the matter. During the course of their investigation, law enforcement located a house in Bemidji that matched the description provided to them by the girl. When they performed a search of the house, they located 12 men. One of the men was later identified as Oscar Luna, a United States citizen from Texas, and 11 other men were foreign nationals. The U.S. Border Patrol eventually involved, and all of the uh, foreign nationals were handed order over to federal authorities. Prior to that, Bemidji police made sure to secure DNA samples from all 12 of the men found in the house. Oscar Luna was determined to fit the physical description of Panda given by the young girl and taken into custody by the Bemidji Police Department. Beltrami County Attorney's Office uh, charged Luna with one count of criminal sexual conduct in the first degree based on the information at that time. Uh, none of the other men found at the scene were ever charged with the crime. Both Bemidji Police and BCA continued their investigation after the charges were filed against Luna. Based on DNA collected from Luna and 11 uh, other men found at the scene, none of their DNA was found on the young girl. The BCA did examine clothing of the young girl and determined there were four separate DNA profiles on the waistband of her underwear, one of which matched her own DNA. The rest were unidentified individuals, which included unknown male DNA. The BCA ran the DNA profiles of all the men against the DNA found under underwear and excluded all of them as a match. Law enforcement also uh, processed the scene and the car the girl had allegedly been forced into for DNA. The BCA was unable to locate the girl's DNA at the scene or in the car. Besides the uh, continued forensic analysis, investigators from Bemidji Police continued to analyze physical evidence and take statements from individuals familiar with the case. Unfortunately, the physical evidence and follow-up statements from witnesses tended to not corroborate the young girl's statement. To be clear, there is little doubt the young girl was sexually assaulted. The medical evidence from her uh, SANE exam supports she was sexually assaulted. Luna's DNA was not found on the girl. Luna was first identified as a suspect by law enforcement because he matched the description given by the girl. However, he was never specifically identified uh, any witness uh, as the assailant. In the American justice system, uh, prosecutors have a special duty to refrain from prosecuting a charge that prosecutors know is not supported by probable cause. Initially, there was sufficient probable cause to proceed, proceed with charges against Luna, but as the investigation unfolded, much of that evidence became either uncooperated or exculpatory. At this point, there is no evidence admissible in a court of law to implicate uh, Luna for sexual assault of the young girl. Therefore, based upon the lack of evidence necessary to prove this case, the Beltrami County's Attorney's Office will be dismissing the charges against Luna. Furthermore, because DNA evidence excluding the other men uh, found at the scene, there are currently no suspects to file charges against at this time. The case will remain under investigation if any new evidence is discovered. The Beltrami County Attorney's Office will examine it and proceed accordingly. When processing the scene, law enforcement did encounter drugs. Luna has admitted the drugs found at the scene were his. He also acknowledged that the house he was staying at was within a school zone.
zone, and therefore he possessed the drugs inside a school zone. Because of this, Luna will be prosecuted for one count of third-degree possession of a controlled substance, a felony, which he intends to plead guilty to immediately. Luna also has two outstanding warrants in Hennepin County. Upon resolution of his drug charge here in Beltrami County, he will be released to his warrants. On a personal note, I want to thank all the hardworking men and women who have participated in this investigation, from the nurses, law enforcement officers who investigated the case, as well as all members of my staff who have put in countless hours on this case. This case involves a little girl who experienced an unthinkable trauma, and uh, for the prosecution to conclude with an outcome of no charges in itself is another trauma, both for the victim and for all the individuals who have put their heart and souls into this case. I ask that members of the press respect the privacy of the young girl and her family at this difficult time. Unquote. Again, that was from Beltrami County Attorney David Hansen. Uh, charges of uh, sexual assault against Oscar Luna in the alleged rape of a 11-year-old girl are dismissed. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.